earlier, Mark Beck, the man in that shootout with sheriff's deputies, was caught on camera at a Ponderay liquor store stealing three bottles of liquor. Ponderay police respond quickly, joined by Bonner County Sheriff's deputies. The pursuit heads up Highway 95. At one point, an officer lays down spike strips, but Beck avoids them in his blazer, swerving into oncoming traffic. He turns on the Colburn Colbert Road, and when the Ponderay police chief pulls ahead to try and cut the blazer off, Beck runs him off the road. The two vehicles swerved off the road here, ending up in this ditch. At that point, three deputies approached the blazer, guns drawn, not knowing what to expect. And at that very moment, this encounter turned deadly. Don't move! The dash cam video is from Deputy Mitch Parnell's patrol car. He's the deputy you see approach the blazer on the passenger side and open fire. And watch this video again. As Deputy Parnell approaches, Beth opens the door and fires a shot that pierces the collar of Deputy Parnell's uniform. Amazingly, Parnell wasn't hurt, but he and two other deputies return fire, 29 shots into the blazer in a matter of seconds. When the smoke settles, Beth sits motionless, but the deputies are cautious. They see his hand still gripping the gun, his fingers still on the trigger, but they soon realize his wounds fatal. Idaho State Police and the county prosecutor say this video shows the deputies did the right thing, but it does not explain why Betts decided to get into a deadly gun battle with deputies in the first place. In Bonner County, Eric Hedman, Crestune News.